encourage Mr. Rana Kapoor, CEO and Managing Director of Yes Bank to join us. Mr. Kapoor, good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome on a set. Welcome to a set rather. Um, what should we start with? Specifics or the big picture question first? I think the first part is your set is uh, very energetic. <laughs> it's uh, got contagious energy. I must say that. I must compliment you for that. Yeah. You must compliment you. my co-anchor as well. <laughs> uh, she's looking bright after a long Never day of work. Never mind the compliments. <laughs> <laughs> so you were, you were talking to us about you know, your initial sort of take on this budget. I think the budget has got uh, the right uh, headlines. The headlines are very encouraging. They're very promising because mm -hmm. what we were expecting was uh, a deep message on fiscal consolidation. Because that was like the moving target which uh, could not be like, you know, hardwired till now. And I think the finance minister has proven that it's not only achievable, but he has also predicted for next year and the following two years that from 3.5 to 3.0 and 3.0 the following year. To me, that's a very strong message. And secondly, the replatforming, the reconfiguration of the Indian economy to me, uh, this has been ignored for the best part of the, of the day, that how do you go through the nine, I call them nine Ashoka pillars. The nine Ashoka pillars have got uh, almost the entire basket of the economy covered, right? So when you look at agribusiness and agriculture, rural development, which is like somewhat related to that, and when you see manufacturing and the services sector, I think there's an all-encompassing budget, which has got elements which are going to create, you know, in effect, a multiplier in sure. course of time. So I'm very convinced that this budget has got all the motivational issues. It's got all the drivers, the economic drivers, and the financial factors, which are being very well incorporated in the budget. Mm -hmm. But we are not seeing the right now the fine print. The fine print, when it unravels today or tomorrow, will also reveal that there is something else to it. If you see the subsidy number because you know the quality of the fiscal deficit is as important as the number if you see subsidies have come down to 1.6 percent of GDP right mm -hmm. if you look at uh, the overall composition of how the transmission of subsidies is going to happen sure. in future so the leakages are prevented I'm very happy with the overall fiscal quality of this budget which uh, leads me to believe that uh, there is enough monetary headroom now for some serious action.